Hello again, audience. Um, back to Black Mesa. All right. Um, Anonymous Materials is the next chapter, but the video rendering fucked up again, and I assume that this means that um, I have to play every map at least once before recording, or else the recording will screw up, because I don't know, like, when it loads the uh, um, updates... Uh, um, Node graph or whatever it's called, or <sighs> never mind. Just continue. I have to re-record this. Fucker. Wait, it's all already loaded. It. What the fuck am I doing? Well, I earned some achievements so far. The first achievement you can earn is um, proverbial tinkerer. I'll show you how to get it. They hide the duck across from me. I earned it like about an hour ago. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. I promise that 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 I test these videos be before control, alt, uploading them. The first step. Over my shoulder, me the first step of the achievement is mess with this button. Hey, it's happening. How did that? My horoscope was correct. Someone pull this fire alarm or something. Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me in the trouble? Bertha, Bertha, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here. Sorry. Copy. Damn, Gordon. Well, you don't have to push the button again, but it's optional. Let's do it anyways. I've about had it for the fun of it. Are you trying to get my supervisor down here? Maybe he could fix the computer. For crying out loud, Gordon, knock it off. Oh, come on, buddy. You don't want me to write you up. <laughs> Congratulations. You just made the top of my shit list. <laughs> Gordon Freeman. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Next step is just messing with this. Get away from there, Freeman. Just um, I'm expecting an important message. Just click that only. Just press E on that only once, and uh, that'll earn you the achievement. Gordon, don't touch that. Go use another computer. Hands off, Buster. I'm expecting a message any minute. <laughs> Let's move on. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Yeah. The thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans. Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Coded message for Dress. Jackson, Vera, Clausen, Command and Communication Center. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Gee, man. We meet again, fucker. <laughs> G-Man. You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. 
another improper use of the Boltzmann constant. Good heavens, the buffoon spelled Chandrasekhar limit incorrectly. And what in the blue blazes is a, is a raffle copter? <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Yeah, yeah. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. There's been a lot of suits coming and going. Probably Union Busters. Can't let you through. Not with Big Brother watching. Look, buddy, I don't stand around and stare at you all day. Well, I do, but that's because it's my job. So, go do yours. Oh boy, look sharp. Here comes the administrator. <laughs> got you. Oh man, I got you good. No, Brain isn't coming, silly. Oh, sorry, Doc. I have to stay at my post. Wallace Brain. Don't you have some buttons to push or something? Man, my bad habits must be rubbing off on you. Did you stop taking your meds or something? Man, cease and desist, or some shit. Man, cease and desist, or some shit. What am I, target practice? I'm beginning to doubt that this is part of your decathlon training. What am I, target practice? Man, cease and desist, or some shit. Okay, I get it. You hit me, I hit you. Then you get a morphine injection. Oh yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes Big you day lunch. today, eh, Freeman? Good morning, Freeman. Yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza and mine here for you. Yes, with your choke on it. <laughs> Gonna get me one of them jumbo sized red grape sodas. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Man, I'm working up a mean hunger just thinking about it. You're thinking of something. Mmm, mmm. What a rudder. <laughs> Not now. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Security officer, Sisk, reports. Good morning, Gordon. <laughs> All right. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated... Bah. I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. I'm not smug. I'm just better than you. I said drop it. Maxwell's demon. It's cold in here. You'll just have to wait until after the if test. If this is anything less than a full-scale code red calamity, I'm not interested. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now.
You'll just have to wait until after the test. Oh, they're right there, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Just head on up to the personal facilities and grab your HEV suit. I'll be right here waiting for you. I got all day, buddy. Uh, are we forgetting something? Sorry, Mr. Freeman. No exceptions. Not even for you. Sorry, buddy, but those are the rules. Has anybody ever told you you're a cunning linguist? Hey, catch me later. We'll, we'll talk about that science stuff some more. Uh, can we do this later? There are a lot of suits walking around today. Try to look busy. I can't, but maybe later. Man, this job is boring me to tears. We can talk on my lunch break. Uh, can we do this later? Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. These double shifts are starting to get to me. I'm at the point now where I have to drink a cup just to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Cheers. Can this wait till I'm off break? I trust this morning finds you well. They're serving Salisbury surprise in the cafeteria, again. Hope you're in top form this morning, Gordon. I think this is also part of an achievement. Just gotta make sure, though. Um, yep, that's what. That's right. Ruin the microwave casserole. If you played Half-Life 2 Episode 2, you'll hear like a Dr. Magnuson saying, um, He'll, he might forgive you, which it, and you know what, what he means, like um, involving um, a microwave casserole, you know, the debacle at Black Mesa. Well, this is it. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. You better make like a nut and bolt. <laughs> you better make like diarrhea and run. <laughs> you better make like traffic and jam. You better make like a missile and cruise. You better make like a prom dress and take off. <laughs> you better make like a bread truck and haul buns. You better make like a baby and head out. You better make like a bus boy and get the fork out of here. <laughs> you better make like a bread truck and haul buns. Gordon, you've already done enough damage here. Get to work. Just leave me out of this. They've been paging you all morning, Dr. Freeman. Best get downstairs before you cause any more disasters. Believe you me, I won't be taking the blame for this one. Now here's another achievement. Um... Caffeine extraction by performing surgical caffeine extraction from uh, 20 machines. I'm almost there anyways. And that should be it. And ta-da! You better make like a prom dress and take off. Just for the fun of it, let's just uh, make this vending machine run out. I wouldn't want to be around when the good doctor rears his head. You kidding? I wouldn't miss this for anything. He'll be fit to be tied. the debugging procedure coming along. So. 
why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? And these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Does this lab coat make me look fat? There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? You'll just have to wait until after the test. Here's another achievement. No toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Just put the toilet paper there, and this will earn you For an achievement. For sake! Oh, thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. <laughs> Just a minute. Occupied. <clears throat> Occupadal. The other stalls appear to be empty. Yeah, right. Just like, a minute. Like I can open them. <laughs> yeah, right. Time to get into the hazard suit. Yeah. Yeah, Goran Freeman. Dance to, um. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Catchy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Goran Freeman. Do it. Do the Joel Nielsen dance. Yeah, dance around like crazy. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. Dance like I have ADHD. Well, I do have ADHD, actually, <laughs> to be honest. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud. And the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit but it was eventually discarded. I say, that suit certainly flatters your fundament. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Listen, I'm only going to explain this to you one more time. If you have a question that isn't my problem, it's yours, right. And if I have a question, it isn't my problem. Oh, contraire, it is still very much so your problem. Now, do we have a problem? No. Really? I don't see a cup of coffee with two sugars and no cream in my hand. Do you? No. Well, that me. <laughs> Can you access the mail server? Positively. <sighs> it's getting increasingly difficult to keep the rank and file in check. Have to make sure they understand their role in the bigger picture, don't you know? Can't let them forget. It's an honor to share this rarefied subterranean air. I confess, I too thought I was cock of the walk when I first entered these hollowed halls time, I was humbled by my experiences. Ah, those were the halcyon days. Take it from me, Gordon. Youth is wasted on the young. This is going to have to wait, Gordon.
Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel day. See you soon. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, me and the boys were thinking about some poker tonight. I'll keep you posted. Well, get going. Knock them dead down there, Gordon. We can talk on my lunch break. Sure something. I'll suck to stay at my post. Sorry, buddy. I got a job to do. Don't you have some buttons to push or something? Ah, Freeman. I've oft been told my left side is better. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. slideshow <laughs> hydroelectric dam I love that map looks amazing this version too this is actually the first Black Mesa map made not the first half-life map I don't think that's that's where I'm about to go in that picture. I saw that area in the inbound chapter. I thought the sound crashed, but it's fine. Wouldn't it be fantastic to get some pure readings for a change? Anyone else getting hungry? the next lap map loads at this point. Alright. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. leave that shut down procedure chart. I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto optic modulators are on the Fritz again. <laughs> Fritz, a cat. <laughs> I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. When he just says Fritz, I just think about the movie Fritz, the cat. 
don't know what that word really means. What's up, Doc? Besides a cat name. Oh, no. It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Whew. I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. I think we could all use a little R&R. &R, know what I mean? Days like this make me glad all I have to do is just stand around and look pretty. Look at all these white coats running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Not for me. Uh. No, sir. I was never cut out for the scientific techno babble. Sure as hell don't know how a quark works, but the quarks do, and that's the important thing. And when someone says quark, I just think of the uh, <laughs> character quark from the Ratchet and Clank games. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Freeman. I'm on duty right now. Ready for another rousing day, Freeman? Gordon, I'm busy. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? You'll just have to wait until after the test. Ah, Gordon. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Ah, good. Finally Dr. Kleiner. Kleiner. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105% of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned at the conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some length. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> <laughs> morning, Izzy. I trust this Eli Vance. Well. Yay. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to just. Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh, it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Why does circuit board blow up? Aliens. <laughs> if anyone's wondering why Eli, Eli has his uh, other leg still, is because, well, he didn't lose it yet. Hmm. This um, could take a bit longer than I anticipated. According to that book, Half-Life 2, Raising the Bar, Eli lost his leg to a bull squid when, um, um, when he was helping Kleiner up over a combine wall. So, yeah. Cool elevator. Yeah. I don't know about this, Izzy. Poppycock. We'll be laughing about this. Whilst sipping champagne and resting on our laurels. By Beckrell's ghost, the radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned. As bad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, but I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now. You're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with theirs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly, but before you do, activate panel plates. Supposed to be in the test chain hour ago. Go bother. Dr. Freeman? Can this wait? Go bother someone else. Here.
Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. What's the extension for technical support? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no time for cold feet, Chief. Step right up. Y you've come all this way. Suit or no suit, I sure hope you weren't planning on having kids. Well, well, Gorn, well, Gorn Freeman would have kids if he fucked Alex after she's an adult. You know, it does cost money to keep that door open. Have Adam, Doc. You don't want to keep your adoring fans waiting now, do you? Oh, sorry, Doc. I have to stay at my post. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good read. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. No, no. As long as we can search in procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade is extremely unlikely. Don't Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. Assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let them in now. The higher ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Once this is over, you can slip out TV and get back to work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. Are you something, Gordon? He's just setting the moment. One day he'll be beginning of his illustrious career. Catching the opening night jitters, Gordon? Can't. Don't worry, Dr. Friedman. You'll do just fine. There's no need for performance anxiety, Dr. Friedman. Of course not. You're a seasoned pro by now. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Needs fixing ASAP. <laughs> all right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now. If you would be so as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Emergency shutdown needs fixing ASAP offline. <laughs> Explains why there was a resonance cascade. Gina, Gina Cross, okay, deliver this. Now here's a, a now here's an achievement that you can earn. Let's see, um, what's it called? Refuse to insert the specimen into the anti-mass spectrometer. Basically, you just stall and not put the crystal in there at all. For the fun of it, I'll just demonstrate it by showing you. The carrier to the analysis board. Wow. 
What is he doing? Need to worry about. Uh, go ahead, Gordon. Any second now. Any moment. Here. Vortigaunts, sweet. Those are my favorite Zen creatures. Well, that's a wrap for now. So I'll just, uh, save the game for now. Thanks for watching and um uh unforeseen consequences. See ya.